Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, got this software I wanted to show to you. If this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Now, this is a software called Stream Alive, right? And it's a it's an interactive uh, streaming software that you can actually utilize when you're actually doing streaming. Now, it best works, it really works well when you're a solo presenter, right? You're trying to get different things um, and different questions answered in your presentation. The challenge is you have to try to manage what's going to happen or how do you answer the question. Um, it even has, you know, it could, it could ignore um, people are actually profanity and different things like that. But what it does is it just it takes it makes your your presentation to your particular um, audience more interactive and people feel like they're more engaged when you ask different questions the chat box moves like crazy like here pretty much asked how people were doing and so on and so forth and so what happens after that is um you're able to get a, a more active and audience more actively engaged i'm going to go behind the scenes i'm going to show you how you set this up to where you can automatically ask your questions and people will see the map and they'll see on the side and see what's going on in this software. This is a pretty unique software, and this is definitely a software you need to be, pay attention to moving into the 2023 year. So what I love about this tool is the ease and use of setup. So when you come into Stream Alive, you have these different, and they're gonna add more, they're gonna be adding some more connectors, but these are the, uh, these are all the different areas right now that if you ran a live stream from it, you'd be able to use this software and you can authorize your YouTube, your Microsoft Teams and your Zoom. And um, so those are the three that they have now. I think they're going to be adding WebEx and a couple more. But let's take a look and let's go around and let's see what else they have in here. So what else you have? And this is the home screen. And then they have here, it's called run of the show. And what that means is this is your preloading of your actual um, questions or events that you may ask. I'm gonna do a demo here on something called SAS Strength. Um, I'm gonna run a Zoom setup and let you just take a look at it briefly and see how that looks. But what you do, run of the show is you, you're loading, you're preloading your template, right? And so we'll call this one um, Quick Run, right? Just call it Quick Run, right? And so what you're able to do is we titled it Quick Run and then you can add slides here or you can add your interaction here. And these are the different types of interactions and I know more on the way, but you can run a power pole. You can run a magic map. The magic map, I'm gonna show you a demo of the magic map and I think uh, Wonder Words, I'm gonna do these two demos. And uh, the magic map allows you to take a poll. Hey, where's everybody? Um, tuning in from, right? And you get people from all over. Hey, I got people over here. I'm in, you know, Philadelphia. Hey, I'm in Miami. Hey, I'm in California. But the map comes up and people are actually able to see it. Um, it's interactive. It, it brings an interactive juice to the actual program. So you can click magic map there. You can say, where is everyone from, right? And then you have these these colors, you can just, you can uh, populate the colors of where people, uh, the latest location, individual locations, you can color code that. Then you got some settings here, one per one, one answer per person. You don't want nobody spamming it and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. And you can have to show the comments, they can overlay each other as well. So that's how that works, right? And then what you do is you save what's called run of the show or save ROS, right? You can save ROS. Then you go here and you can see the analytics afterwards. They'll be e emailed to you. I don't have a display of the analytics because I wanted to do a self test. And then you got your regular settings here, uh, the use of profanity and things of that nature. Um, right here, you got the use of profanity filters, combine similar words, so on and so forth. You can do your brand, you can do the different colors for each poll you're running with. You can customize the colors if you had an overall theme or something like that. And then you can do your branding here. Um, and the branding will come up once you get ready to run it. So, so now what you do is you pick a show. What you do is when you come back here and you figure out, hey, 
what is my events you go to your events and they can create an event or put a one event in person or you can view the meetings that you have here already i'm going to run this demo for you but what you can do is you connect the run of the show to the template you're using and then you can connect to the meeting all right so i have already connected to the meeting so let's go over there and let's take a look and see how that looks all right, we are over here. We are live inside of the actual um, event. I've already started the event. And so what you do here is, and you can see Streamline asked to join, Streamline Live asked to join the room. I talked to the founder. I think you can change this where they're on. They're going to change it to where you can actually put in an actual name so it won't seem as obvious. Um, but this stream alive, they asked to join the room. I had to let, um, once I hit connect on the stream alive side, then it goes and it requests to ask to join the room. Then once it joins the room, then you know, it's active. So, um, and it's just, and it performs just like a regular, you just have a regular meeting, you have a regular stream, but what happens is it acts on your behalf. You don't have to figure out where people are from. And it says, Hey, tape your, type your name in the chat. It's going to automatically um create a map for you and it's going to show you where people are at so let's take a look and how let's see how we're going to demo that all right so we're back over here in stream alive and before you start asking questions this is going to run the show for you so you go start run of show and then you do your share screen you have to do a share screen basically so you start that and then you start the interaction right and as you can see here i place my logo here and then this and then so what you do is you bring that up and say, hey you know what where's everybody from and you can see this here and this they and then you bring the screen up and you show it and you says hey where's everybody from right so then people start answering right i'm say hey i'm from california right so i put up california so jenny says california obviously that's the engagement meter came up down here i only have one person in there right so i couldn't you know, I can't reduplicate many people, but what you're able to see is the map starts, it starts peppering, right? It starts peppering all over. You got United States here. You may have Mexico, you may have uh, India, you may have Brazil, you may have Canada, and it just starts popping up. And when people see this map, what you do is you share this, and this is your share screen, or you share this tab. He says, hey, where's everybody from? And you switch to share this tab, and then it does that for you, okay? Then, you say, all right, so let me start the interaction tool here. And she says, well, you know what? Please type in a SAS tool, um, a type of SAS tool recommendation into the, into the chat. And then you go start interaction. And then so me, I'm going to say I'm recommending, right, uh, stream, uh, stream alive. And so that popped up on the screen. But what's happening is it's going to start peppering different answers and people are going to start seeing that. And this is the interaction and it's going to pepper them all over. It's going to be left, right. It's going to be horizontal, vertical, and you, you start reading them off. Okay. You got stream alive. You got this, you got, you know, these different tools, you got zoom, you got VBout, you got all these different other SAS tools. Um, and they start peppering. I don't, let me see. Let me try another one. Let me see. Or, I think I only have it set up for one person can answer at a time. So let me just put in my other favorite VBout here. Oh yeah. And it's allowing me to do it. Right. And then I'm gonna go zoom here. Then zoom comes up and then let's go with, um, what are some of my other favorites? Uh, hippo video. And so on and so forth. But what's happening is when you're interacting with the entire room, this is just peppering everything. And so this is a, you know, I, I think they said you can remove the powered by stream alive, but I mean, if, if they're a tool that I support, then I want people to know who they are and I want people to support them. Right. And because if they're in business, then I'll be in business. Right. And so I wanted to recommend, like I said, I want to recommend this tool to you. I only use two examples here. Um, again, I use the, where's everyone from? Obviously I'm from California. Let me see if it allow, let me see if it allow anymore uh let me put new york in here and see if that'll take i don't think it'll take because i think i only set it up for one 
yeah, I only set it up like that and it only allows for one person to answer because I didn't want people standing there from all over. So I set on a filter, I only want one answer. On the other filter for this particular question, um, I didn't have one answer. You can just put in some different tools and stuff like that. So again, uh, this has been Jenny Jones. Obviously this is, uh, I will be um, doing a little bit more on this tool, uh, probably even connecting with a couple people from this operation because I want to learn more about it. But going into 2023, this is the kind of game changing software that we're going to be looking at. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing some demos over on SAS Use Case TV. We're going to be getting uh, underneath the hood and showing how people are actually using this in their business now. So um, there should be a link uh, after this video. You should be able to see an actual opportunity to learn more about SAS Use Case TV. There's definitely going to be a link below to the software. They have a one time uh, deal on this software and uh it's an opportunity i think i have a one time oh i have a, a limited price on uh sas use case tv um going on throughout the end of the year so you might want to take advantage of that and probably get an opportunity to, to meet the the founder and some other things like that so again this has been jenny jones um you guys take care goodbye for now